Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARO Laboratory. I got to review the U-Kits EK1A, and now I get to show it to you right here. Well, here it is. It's very small, less than a pound. Quite simply, here's the volume control, the LCD display. I will turn it on in a little bit. Your headphone jack. A red LED that lights up when the signal strength of the incoming signal is strong. Your memory and VFO button here. If I hold that down, it saves a frequency to the memory. And of course, we have the RIT control and the set function. Here's your tuning knob. Let's flip it around to the other side. Quite simply, we have the key input, straight key or paddle connection here, your antenna jack, your DC power input, and a little push button for an attenuator. I measured the attenuator to be about 19 dB when engaged. Well, I've hooked up an amplified set of speakers to hear so we can actually hear the audio and set headphones. I've hooked up an antenna, the DC power supply, and a set of paddles. First off, let's take a look at the display. I press this button, it'll toggle between memory and VFO. Now I'm on VFO. The tuning steps at first are there's one kilohertz here. If I press this button, it'll go to tenths and then 100 hertz steps. And if I press and hold, it'll adjust the frequency display in 100 kilohertz steps. And this is a good way to move across the bands quickly. I can move all the way down to 40 meters here. And wouldn't you know it, the band is dead today. Another solar flare. What rotten luck for this demonstration. Well, anyway, here's the LED. It lights up for strong signals. And let's tune around just a little bit to see if I can hear anything. Oh, pretty dead. Yeah, okay, well, on with the demonstration. RIT button is here. Now I can adjust the frequency up and down. Now let's say I want to uh, store something in the memory. I dial in the frequency that I want and then press and hold this button here. A few seconds then it says save and it's in memory 9. Now, also this display has a pretty nifty little battery indicator that lets me know if my supply voltage gets low and I'll just do that. I'll turn down the DC supply input but it could be a battery. And we'll turn it down, turn it down. Oh, my battery's getting weaker, it's getting weaker. And, oh, oh it's, oh, it's flashing. And it starts to flash right around 8 volts DC input. That's handy, but this will still put out RF all the way down below 9 volts. So it's handy even with a weak battery. The U-Kits EK1A is ideal for a backpack since it's so lightweight. That and a lightweight antenna and a Morse code key and a small battery will get you on the air making a lot of contacts. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the Arrow Laboratory.